Do you remember the BP oil spill? I lived in Virginia at the time, and so there was a massive call to action in my area. They were boycotting the BP gas stations. You probably remember the commercials that were coming out with cleaning up the seabirds. There was just this public notice for conservation, for environmentalism. And I loved how much the community really got together and really wanted to protect our wild spaces. You know, I lived right on the water there. It just really reminded us that it could have been our community. So growing up, that was always just kind of in the back of my mind, just watching how everybody got together to conserve and protect. When you're in high school, you know, all of your senior friends, they only ever talk about going to university. And I was part of that group too. I thought that I was going to go to Montana State University. That was my whole plan. I had gotten accepted and my parents took me to the bank so that we could talk about student loans. <laughs> they told me all said and done, I would be $100,000 in debt. I knew that I still wanted to go to college. And so financially, it just made sense to go to community college. And they had the zookeeping program, which like spoke to me. So it just made sense. So to get my associate's degree in zookeeping, I had to do an internship and I ended up going to Colorado Parks and Wildlife and I stayed there for about a year. It gave me good building blocks and it gave me confidence, which is what was the most important thing. Even though the coursework and loads were different, because I had already succeeded and already got a degree, I knew that I could do it, even though the classes were hard. And so when I got to calculus, when I got to organic chemistry, I'm just like, no, I've already done this. I can do this. And I think that was more instrumental than anything else. I work in a team, there's five of us, and together we collect the samples and we test them. I do most of the wet chem, like the chlorine, alkalinity, hardness, that sort of thing. We test all the way from our source water, which comes from the reservoir, down through our treatment process, and then out into our distribution out into the city. And the entire time, we're making sure that we're adhering to state regulations and federal regulations so that we can ensure and tell the populace that our water is pretty great. Up in the mountains in Colorado from reservoirs, streams, lakes, it follows through the Arkansas River and goes into Pueblo Reservoir. Not only do we test it before it enters the treatment train, but you know, it's important to make sure that even at Pueblo Reservoir, that the water, that the environment is being taken care of. Just try things, take opportunities, you know, don't be afraid to call people and ask if you can shadow them, ask if you can volunteer for a day. When I was volunteering with CPW, even though I was mostly on the volunteer side of things, I could go to the district wildlife managers and ask if I could go for a ride along. So I'm just seeing different aspects, you know, going to the zoo, a lot of them have volunteer days. There's just so many different aspects that I started in zookeeping and now I'm a lab tech. Just take the opportunities that come to you.